that giant structure behind me is a drowned farm. And today I'm going to show how you guys can build this farm. The first thing you're going to want to do is find out where you want to build it. So a river biome is best, but you can also build this thing in a deep ocean biome. So right here I have a river. As you can see right there. So this is part of the river and then right when we get to here we're in the plains biome. And I'm going to build it at least 20 blocks above. Just so that I get better spawn rates for my AFK platform. Alright, and you can be building this out of any blocks. I just like using glass so you can see everything. Okay. So now that we have our area here. You're going to want to build up the walls on the outside. Right, so then. Put my portal right here. Realistically, you can try building this farm without the portal and just have a killing chamber here, but it works better with the portal. And some other blocks on the outside stop mobs from going through. We are already halfway done, so we're just going to fill this side with buckets. Straight to the portal. Now we're going to put fence gates, you can even use signs, anything to stop the water on top from falling through. And so at this point, if you wanted, you can do a ring of hoppers around here with a chest to collect any salmon that might fall down through here or any other drowned mobs that fall through the sides. This isn't mandatory, but this is only if you want the extra salmon or whatever extra drops come from. So. In this case, I'll just build it to show you how you guys could do it. Alright, just like that. Now we just have to build up. I'm going to go about a hundred blocks up from here. I want to go from 100 to 120 just to get rid of any of the spawns on the ground here and keep all the spawns in the farm. Okay, so I'm currently 110 blocks up and now I'm just going to put the water stream here. So I want to continue with the shape of my farm. Alright, and you want to go up two layers here because you need the water to go straight down. So I'm just going to build up a second one. Alright, once you cover the top, you just want to go out a few more blocks so that it's mostly covered in darkness. So I'm going to go out by, let's say, 15. Okay, and now I'm just going to connect it just like this. Alright, so now that this is done, we're just going to put a little AFK platform on top. So you can do this wherever you want. And all you need to do is make sure that you have a roof over your head. That phantoms don't come and kill you during the night. And that's pretty much the whole farm. What I did on mine was I replaced these bottom blocks with a glass so that I could see down the farm. But that's totally up to you and not necessary at all. And that's pretty much the whole farm complete. The only thing that's left is to make the killing chamber in the nether. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so the killing chamber is completely up to you. Here's an example of one that you can do. Just a line of hoppers with some slabs on it and then trap doors up here so that no mobs can come through. Uh, baby mobs, like baby drowns. 
And yeah, as soon as you kill them, all the drops will get funneled through here into this chest. And that's it. So, I'm gonna go AFK over the top. And then we'll come back and see how many drop rounds we can get. Okay, we've been at AFK here for about 20 minutes. Let's go see. Oh yeah, that's a lot of drone. And look, we got a trident. So, Java players, there's still hope for tridents. And this is actually a perfect source for Nautilus shells as well, if you want to make conduits. Anyways guys, so that's the whole farm. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.